My name is Rafael Velasquez. I am a mass communication student at uh, Cal State University San Bernardino. Uh, this is my sixth year and I'm going to expect it to graduate in June. And the reason I'm here is because I want to talk to you about a few issues I've been having, but also it's like an experience and a journey as well. But first I'm going to start off by reading a manifesto that I wrote, which reads, it's titled, It's My Struggle. Why do people question my abilities? Hmm, good question. Is it because I have an obvious disability because I'm wheelchair bound? Does me using a wheelchair an impediment to get past the disability being the defining factor of myself? If you believe so, no worries. I won't condemn you in any way, shape or form, because all of us have a struggle in one, a struggle in a way. But I want us to have an opportunity to know people based on their character, not based on what they look like. Because at the end of the day, it changes as we all get older. Don't get me wrong, I'm not here to indoctrinate none of you or anybody into believing that people with disabilities are some sort of god or goddess. But it's just to offer you a different perspective of how they live. And they live just like everybody else, but in a different way. I was diagnosed with something called muscular dystrophy Duchenne's at the age of nine. And what this muscle, what this disease does, it's a muscle weakness. It starts deteriorating the muscle texture and muscle strength progressively. And, uh, and they, when I was diagnosed, all the information was given to my mom, not me, but my mom. She was told that there was no guarantee I'll live to be past 18, that by my middle, my mid-teens, I'll start using breathing equipment, a uh, ventilator, feeding tube, and by 16, I will have lost all my ability to move, which thankfully, that has not happened. It was, it was hell of a journey, but a little, he it was kind of hectic, but then I got to, I found out how to get them to do that, which it should not really be like that because not everybody with a disability relies on someone. There's many of them who are independent, who just do everything. They make their own living, but there's some who are not fully ambulatory and they require help. So um, it shouldn't really, be that many barriers. We should break those barriers down. They should be broken down to uh, get, because there's many of them, trust me, there are many of them who would love to go to a trip like this. They're offered through, whether it's a, a university, employment, or whatever, or friends. But all of them have to cancel on them because they can't figure it out. They can't find someone to help them out. Most of them did contact me back through email and uh, just to say that they are not able to do anything about it. So actually I had to dig myself. It's all me, I just had to come up with, oh, I have, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go try this, I'm gonna go ask them, I'm gonna go ask this personnel and this other personnel, see if they help out, see how they can help. It's only until I hit the student affairs that seemed the most promising. And also the, um, director for the SSD office. So when I went to them, I kind of hit the jackpot. I've been talked down, I just tell them, ignore all the people that will talk down to you. There's gonna be people that are gonna talk down to you and discourage you from doing certain things because it's gonna violate their expectations, which is kind of foul. So I tell them, you know, just think that you can do certain things that you will get this, get through this, you're gonna accomplish that, you're going to, basically you can get through. Just ignore all the negative vibes and just make friends with people that are encouraging. Important to share because 
really people with disabilities are still underrepresented. And you see how today we, we're dealing with, even to this day, we deal with issues like racism, sexism, and all those stuff. You see how we have different ethnicities speaking their voices and speaking their struggles. Same with the LGBT community, they speak their issues. Well, I think it's time for people with disabilities to start speaking their issues at that level. Kind of speak our struggles and speak how we're gonna get past them. It's possible, you can do anything you wanna set your mind to, get, you'll do it. Because when you set a goal, you just look for ways to do it. You know, it feels like it's, like it's a must do, it's an obligation to do it. So it's like a duty, it's like a job. So if you treat it like a job, then you'll get it done. Set the goal, set the goal. Whatever it takes you to get there or whatever it takes you to do, do it.